guys, it's Jessica, and today I'm going to share with you products that I brought with me on my most recent trip. I used to share like my travel makeup bag with you guys every time I traveled, but I do travel a lot. My husband is a travel agent, so we're constantly on the move. And so we just got back from Vegas, and I felt this was a good trip to kind of share with you guys what I brought because I brought some things that, you know, I wanted to look my best when we would go out at night, so I brought some of my absolute favorites, but I also brought some kind of fun products to play with because, again, we were in Vegas and, you know, different glittery type products, different lip colors, so I thought it'd be fun to share, and I'm also going to share with you guys what's in my liquids bag for my carry-on. I'll do that at the end, and I'll let you know uh, where I got these two different bags that I'm using. So, this might be a long video. So strap in, grab some tea, water, coffee, whatever, and let's go ahead and get into it. Okay, so the first thing that I brought to hold my makeup and my brushes, although I'm not showing the brushes in this video, I just washed them and they're all drying right now in the other room. But this bag is by Sophia Joy and I got it at Target very recently. It's probably still sold there, but I liked that it was kind of like easy to clean and it was big enough. There was a little handle if I wanted to hold it that way. And I thought the colors were kind of cute too and I liked that it had gold hardware. Some of these things were when I traveled in my liquid bag. I'll try to tell you which things had to be in here, but I wanted to do all of my makeup together. So uh, one of the things I brought that was in my liquids bag is my MAC Prep and Prime Fix Plus spray. Um, I knew I wanted to bring some kind of setting spray. This one just happened to be a smaller size, which is the only reason I brought this, but I actually didn't use this all over my face. I used it to dampen my brush to apply like a lot of like glittery, um, really pigmented shadows and things like that. So that was really the main reason I brought this. I probably could have done without it, but I did use it. Moisturizer that I brought that again was in my liquids bag was the Glossier Priming Moisturizer. I just liked it because I could use it as my moisturizer at night after I've cleaned my face, but I liked that of course I could use it right before putting on makeup as well when I got out of the shower. So that was perfect and the regular size of this is only 1.7 fluid ounces. or So I could bring it and put it in my carry-on. I did not check a bag. Speaking of Glossier, I also brought their Balm.com in, um, it's just like their universal, it's not one of the scented ones, but it was just the only lip balm that I brought and that was in my liquids bag. I also, I brought two different primers. I brought my, well, brought my Milk Makeup Blur Stick for like my nose region, anywhere that I like to fill in my pores. And it was nice, you know, this is not something you have to put in your liquids bag, which is nice. I'm gonna get tired of saying liquids bag pretty quickly. <laughs> Um, this is the Catrice Prime and Fine Beautifying Primer. This is quickly becoming one of my favorite primers because it's like this kind of pinkish tone to it. But of course when you blend it in, it, it doesn't look pink. But it has this really pretty finish to it that's just, I don't know, it imparts this glow to your skin, but it's not shimmery or glittery or anything like that. And I just have really fallen in love with this. So really inexpensive if you can find it. Um, they're just starting to get sold in the United States, so it's a little harder to find Catrice, so I will link below if I can find it online, but I really like this. I brought a setting powder, and this, I think, looking back, I didn't really need to bring. This is my Laura Mercier uh, Translucent Loose Setting Powder. It's just so big. Like, I think if I were to do this trip again to pack a little lighter, I would have taken this and put it in a smaller, like, just container that you can buy, you know, at the drugstore for, like, a dollar. Just because, I mean, this is a lot and I don't use very much of it when I use it, so I didn't need the whole thing. So, but I love this powder. I use it to set my under eye, just to set my makeup in general. So if we were sweating or dancing, it didn't, my makeup just stayed in place. I mean, that stuff is amazing at holding onto your makeup. Some tools that I brought, my Sephora Lash Curler, just the standard one. I brought my Tweezerman Light Up little tweezers for, um, I love these, for tweezing my eyebrows if I needed to. I did not need to. Another tool is my e.l.f. makeup remover pen to clean up like any winged liner I might have done, which I definitely did and definitely use. Oh, lashes I brought, just my Ardell Natural Lashes. These are the 120 Demis. These I had already worn before and I'd already cut because I didn't want to have to bring like little cuticle scissors. You can bring them. I, actually, my husband ended up bringing some. But uh, I didn't want to have to bring those, so I wanted to make sure they were, they, they were ones that I already liked. I didn't want to bring more than one because we were only there a couple nights. And so yeah, I, I really like these. These are perfect for me for what I like in lashes. The concealer I brought is my Tarte Shape Tape. It was a toss up. There were like five I wanted to bring. I ended up bringing this one though, and this did go in my liquids bag, but it's just so good because you can put a little bit on and get a good amount of coverage, put a ton on and get like crazy coverage. It's just perfect for that. So 
I was glad I brought that and I did it's not here but I did bring my beauty blender because I really do think that's the best way to apply this so that is also cleaned got a little bath of course, with my lashes, I brought my Duo Eyelash Adhesive. This is just the stuff that dries clear. It's white and then dries clear. I always get nervous. Like, I've, I've had the kind that's like the, it dries darker. But I, I get nervous that I'm going to get it all over my eye and then that's going to be dark in places I don't want it to be. So I just go with the clear white stuff. I also brought a uh, Sephora little sharpener because I actually needed it for my... This is so out of order. I know, you guys. I needed it for my NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk. I mean, I, again, it was only a couple days. I probably didn't need, need it. But I love this stuff. This is what I use for my eye primer under my eye. I just swipe it all up. I just swipe this all over, blend all the way from my brow bone to my lash line. And I love it's white, so the shadows really pop on top of it. But it also holds on to the shadow all day. So the foundation that I brought, this is actually the only one I brought, is my favorite, the Hourglass vanish foundation stick i love this so much and i brought it with my brush and i did want to show you the brush with it even though i'm not showing any other brushes because now this video is not sponsored by hourglass but they did reach out and say that they'd be willing to give away a set of these to one of you guys so i wanted to mention that in this video i will put the link below for how to enter the giveaway but i'm so excited because i know these are expensive and i know i talk about them all the time and i want you guys to be able to try them and love them as much as i do so i will put the info on how to win this down below they'll be in contact with you to get the correct shade to you so you're not just gonna be like stuck with some random shade but you'd win the hourglass foundation stick and the brush which i only i shouldn't say only but i love this brush and this is one that like i really do think it makes a huge difference using a brush that's right with this kind of a thing and not just a random foundation brush so i brought these together that's how i always apply it so back to reality what i love about this and the reason i always bring it with me when i travel is because it doesn't take up any room in my liquids bag and it has the craziest coverage and even though I have dry skin I feel like it just makes my skin look so nice so I'll stop talking about it but good luck and thank you Hourglass for being willing to give one away because I'm so excited so for my brows I brought my Anastasia dip brow pomade in medium brown I've just fallen back in love with this stuff I think it does such a great job at just spreading throughout my brows and still looking pretty natural I, I think you could probably still tell like I don't know that I have something in my brows but I think it still looks pretty natural and it's a really good match for me because I tend to always go lighter with my brows. My brows are naturally light and this is my natural hair color too. Like I've never dyed my hair and I know some people are like, ah, what? It's my brows are just naturally lighter so I'm always thankful for products like this that kind of help me match it better to my actual hair color. So, and I just use a really cheap e.l.f duo like brow and spoolie brush. It's like a couple dollars online. Now back to my face for a while. Um, the only highlight I brought was this one that I'm obsessed with from Pixi. It's the Pixi and Aspen Novard um, Glowy Powder in London Luster. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. This stuff, I'm not wearing it today. I'm wearing a the Becca like purplish one that's new. But this stuff is like the prettiest, most blingy highlighter. It just catches the light so beautifully. I just love this so much and I, I wouldn't have guessed that I would love it as much as I do but every time I put it on I'll catch myself in the mirror and think oh my gosh the highlighter looks so awesome. So that is the only highlighter I brought. The only bronzer slash contour powder I brought is my beloved Kevin Aquan bronzing, what do they actually call it? Sculpting powder in light. I used to use the medium, now they have light. My pale skin is very happy about that. But I used this, I didn't use it today, um, but I used it every single day, every single night. And I just love this. It's really nice if you do have a little bit fairer skin. It does a great job of, you know, it, it really is a contouring powder. It is more gray toned, but I think it still does a good job of making you look a little bit sun-kissed in a way if you apply it in those areas. So I kind of used it for both, even though it's technically not a bronzer, but you guys get what I'm saying. Because I'm not doing like a kind of a contour kind of thing. You know what I'm saying? Where's the blush I brought? I only brought one blush and I brought my MAC blush in Melba that I recently purchased. And um, I just really like this. I had since gotten rid of, I only had like a couple MAC blushes, but this one's just a really pretty everyday peach. And I just liked the way it looked and I hadn't used it a ton yet since I bought it. And I knew the MAC blushes typically will stay on pretty well on your face throughout the day. So 
that was the one I chose. I feel like I used to, I still brought a lot of makeup. I mean, there's no getting around that I brought a lot of makeup, but I'm really proud of myself. I used to bring like two to three blushes and like two highlighters and two bronzers. And I was very proud that it was pretty easy for me to say, okay, no, one highlight, one bronzer, one blush, you know, good job, Jess, good job. And I usually bring like a couple foundations, but I, I narrowed it down to one. I was pretty proud of myself. <laughs> Oh, I lied. I brought two highlighters. I brought this RMS Beauty Living Luminizer because I love it. And I actually used this. We went to a pool party. And so this was the kind of a highlighter I used because I did still put on makeup. Like, we were still trying to look cute. But I used this because it was just like, you know, you just kind of tap it on. It's kind of this glossy look. It's creamy so it doesn't catch the light in like a powdery way. And I thought that was so perfect. So I don't think I ended up putting any like bronzer or blush, but I did just put this on my face and I loved it. All right, let's move on to eyes. I brought one official palette and it's so dirty and I hate that, but I brought my Anastasia Modern Renaissance palette. The thing that's crazy about this palette still to me is when I originally looked at this palette, like way before I bought it, because I was kind of late to the party with this one. When I would look at it, I'd be like, no, like I don't really like reds and oranges on my skin tone, but the more I've used it now that I own it, Every time I use it and put a, like do a look with it, I'm like, oh my gosh, I love this. And so it's really forced me to step outside of my comfort zone, which I love. And so I ended up bringing it and loving it. So I use it every single night. Now, I did want like a black shadow and um, just a couple of other, what other ones? Well, I'll just show you. I used my little Z palette I got from um, BoxyCharm. I love this size. It's so perfect for travel. And I just picked out nine more shades that I thought would... Um, kind of fill in the gaps of what this palette didn't. So let me kind of show you side by side. So I brought some like greens and some more, I don't know, kind of more browns, even though this does have a few browns. Um, and then I did bring like a darker black. I realized I don't have a matte black shadow in a single. So I kind of need to get that for this. This one actually had a little shimmer. It didn't really make a difference, but yes. So that's all I brought eyeshadow. What? Okay, no, that's not true. Cause I brought some other fun single things. Um, oh, really quickly, I brought my Anastasia Brow Wiz Pencil and Medium Brown just to, I like to fill in the edges of my brows with that. And I love the tiny spoolie on this so much. And I also brought my Anastasia Clear Brow Gel. I probably could have done without this because my brows don't really move that much. I probably would have been fine without bringing that. Um, so more fun stuff for my eyes that I brought. I brought two ColourPop shadows. It's like the only two I still have. I might have a couple more, but these are two I've had forever and they still are like the only ones I love. I'm not um, I know a lot of people have like huge ColourPop collections. I really don't. I only have like three or four shades and these are my two favorites. Um, so I have I Heart This, which is this gorgeous kind of shimmery silver, but it's still like a white gold silver. I love this and I don't wear this alone. I like to put it on top of other shadow. Same with this other one in Lovely, which is a golden shimmer. So it's warmer. It's warmer than that last one in uh -huh. I love these so much, but again, I don't wear these alone. I always put them on top of something because I don't feel like they, they never look as punchy as I want them to look when I wear them on their own. Does that make sense? So I loved this and I definitely wore these like every night there. Another fun single product that I brought was the e.l.f. Long Lasting Lustrous Eyeshadow in Soiree. I didn't end up wearing this, but I love it. So it's kind of a whipped creamy texture, really kind of odd, but it's this gorgeous, like burgundy color with shimmer and the glitter doesn't, there's no fallout, which I love because it's just like in the product. It's not like separate, if that makes sense. And I brought the thing that I only wore once, but I'm glad I brought even still. And that would be my MAC pigment in tan. This is the prettiest, I, I gotta swatch it. Every time I open, I get excited to swatch this. I'm never gonna use all this in my entire life, like ever. Um, so you can get like travel, like small sizes of this. I have a smaller size of their vanilla pigment and I'll never even use that up and it's like half the price. This is the tan pigment right there. So you could get the smaller size of this for like, I want to say it's around like 10 ish dollars. This might be around 20. Um, or you can get the L'Oreal infallible, like loose shadow they have in Amber Rush. It's like exactly the same thing. Just saying. And they stay on the same amount of time. There's really no difference. All right, so I also brought, I did bring a lot of like fun eye things. My Milk Pigment in, is it After Party? Yes, After Party. I know some of you guys are probably rolling your eyes because I talk about this all the time. I am so sorry, but it's so good. Look at that. If you put the tan pigment on top of that, I gotta try it. 
I didn't try that. I should have tried that. Well, it doesn't really make that much. I mean, it's just even more beautiful, but it doesn't really, it just kind of makes it more tan like, but so, so beautiful. I think I use the after party pigment every night. Now, again, I didn't wear it alone. I put things on top of it, but I'm pretty sure I wore it every single night under whatever. Continuing on, like I said, I'll do lips at the end. So the liner I brought is the Hourglass 1.5 millimeter mechanical gel eyeliner. Guys, I always have a fuzz in my hair. My hair is like Velcro. <laughs> um, it's the 1.5 millimeter in Obsidian and I am almost out. <laughs> no, no. The bad thing about this is it runs out very quickly and I'm almost out. I have other colors of this that they sent me and that was so sweet and I really like them, but I need more black. Anyway, I love that. It is amazingly skinny and creamy and pigmented and you can just quickly tight line or, you know, fill in your waterline, whatever. It is amazing. It is so amazing. I love it so much. Changed my life. Another liner that I brought, oh, my Sela Stay All Day Liquid Liner, my favorite. I brought that. I, that's what I use to do my wing. And I also brought my L'Oreal Lacquer Liner. It's their 24 hour black gel liner and I always bring a brush of course to apply it with and that is what I mean that's what I'm wearing today all three of those eyeliners and I always put this on as my middle layer to really thicken and blacken the line and this is really good at covering like if you're wearing a lot of glitter and sometimes like other kinds of liners especially like liquid liners don't cover that this is really good at really covering that and blackening that area so that the glitter's not peeking through your liner. I hate that. Next, I brought the Pixie. I brought a lot of makeup. I'm sorry, guys. It's the Pixie Extra Eye Bright Liner. And it's like this almost pinkish lavender nude, almost white. It's, I don't know how to describe it. But you put this on your the inner rim. I could put it on right now, I guess, just show you. You put it on the inner rim of your waterline, like on the lower part especially. And it just whitens that area. So if it's a little bit pink when you're more tired, um, it really brightens that area and makes your eyes look a little bit more awake. And I love this. And they have like another shade and I own both, but I like the extra eye bright one, this one that's a little bit more pink. So I am glad I brought that. Um, oh, I brought just for fun. I brought an e.l.f. Well, I brought a couple of the e.l.f. brush cleanser wipes. They're literally like a wipe that you can just wipe your brushes off on. So then when you put your brushes back in your bag, they're not like, they don't just have nonsense on them and it takes up no room. You can just throw it away. These are an amazing invention. <laughs> Almost done with eyes and then we are on to lips. I brought a lot of lip products. So I brought my IT Cosmetic Superhero Mascara, my favorite. I love the Essence Lash Princess one as well, but I had just opened a fresh one of these bad boys and I was like, I want to bring that because it makes my lashes I'm wearing today makes them look so much thicker and it holds the curl and it's just so black and oh, I love this stuff. It is worth every penny. All right, on to lip stuff. So I brought way more than I should have. And again, some of this was in the liquids bag. Oh, and like the milk eye pigment had to be in the liquids bag, by the way. Um, the liquid liner does not. I've never gotten stopped for not putting liquid liner in the bag. The like gel liners, I've never gotten stopped for not putting that in the liquids bag. Things like that. I mean, if you look it up online, like before I'd started flying a lot and carrying my bags on a lot, I would look it up online and people would be like, oh yeah, any kind of cream, like gel eyeliners need to be in there? No. I have never, ever, ever gotten stopped for not putting like my cream highlighter. Now, if it's like a cream you'd squeeze out, yes, you should put that in your liquids bag. That's kind of a good rule of thumb. Anyway, same goes for lip gloss. Um, there have been times I've forgotten to put... I. Usually we'll try to put my lip gloss in the liquids bag, but this time I didn't put any of these in there and I did not get stopped. So I don't know about lip gloss. I would say it probably doesn't matter. Um, but I brought my two NARS. I think I only meant to bring one, but somehow they both snuck their way in there. But I brought my velvet lip glides. I have the one in bound, which is this more kind of like the same tone of my little sweater thing here. And then I also brought Play Pen, which is more peachy. So I love both of these. It's such a comfortable, kind of almost whipped formula for your lips. You don't need a liner with these colors. They're just, they just make your lips look healthy and pretty. And that's why I really, I really fall in love with them. What I'm wearing on my lips now, um, and I actually just had this in my purse, is the Revlon HD, Ultra HD Lipstick in HD Sand. I'm wearing this on my lips right now. It's kind of this pinkish peach, really easy, kind of has a nice smell. 
I love this stuff. I literally wear it almost every day to work. It's And I never would have guessed in a million years that I would love it as much as I do. I haven't tried any other shade, so it really is like, I love this shade in HD Sand. If you're looking for an everyday, like if you like the way my lips look, I have no liner on, no lip gloss over it, nothing. It's just this, and I love it. It's so foolproof, so comfortable. Mmm, I love it. And it's so cheap. Um, all right, so for fun lip colors, I brought my Ofra liquid lipstick in Atlantic City. This is just a really pretty red. Ask me if I wore it. No, I didn't wear it. Um, and then I brought a really fun berry in, it's the L'Oreal Infallible Paints in 326 Sultry Sangria. Ask me if I wore it. No, I didn't wear it. So then, of course, to go along with those lip colors that I didn't end up wearing, I brought a red lip liner. This is the Stila Stay All Day Lip Liner in Pinot Noir. Didn't wear it. And then I also brought my Ibby Beauty Deep Red, which is kind of like a, well, it's more of like a berry tone right there. To go along with the berry one, didn't wear it. Um, but I did bring like neutral lip liners that I also didn't wear. <laughs> This is the Wet n Wild Gel Lip Liner. I love these. This one's in Bare to Comet. It's just a really simple, like kind of peachy nude lip liner. A little bit deeper, but I love these. They're so creamy. And then I brought my favorite formula. This thing is a hot mess. My ColourPop Lippy Pencil in Bound. And it's more of a pinky nude, but like deeper mauve. I just said so many colors, but that is pretty accurate. <laughs> but again, so my problem was like when we were going out, I was like, I don't want to have to futz with my lips. I don't have to worry about it. So I ended up just going with, what did I even end up wearing? I think I ended up just wearing my NARS thing in Bound every night because I didn't want to have to be stressed about it throughout the night and reapplying. So I just wore this, threw it in my bag, and that was that. I think I might have worn this one of the, well, probably during the daytime, I think I wore this. Anyway, so that's everything in my makeup bag now. Oh, nope, one more thing, and then I'll show you what's in my liquids bag. Uh, my It Cosmetics, Your Skin, no, that's not what it's called, Celebration Foundation Illumination in Light. This is my absolute holy grail powder foundation. I love it. I'm wearing it today. I forgot how much I love it because I it's I hit pan on it a while ago, and I didn't want to repurchase it, so I was like, I need to find a drugstore dupe. So I found the Physician's Formula Youthful Wear in the Illuminating Finish, which is really, really close. I do still think this one's a little bit better, but they're really, really close, but... This stuff is so good. It makes your skin look so flawless. It even with dry skin, like I'm wearing it today and like up close, like when I look, I don't know, like it, it, you can still see that I have dry skin, but it still looks nice. Like it's the craziest, most amazing, but still expensive thing ever. I love it so much. I just need to buy a new one so then I can just use this up and not feel bad about using it up because then I would have another one. That made no sense. Let's move on to my liquids bag. So this, is crazy because I'm breaking all the rules with this because my husband and I both have one and they I, they only had the blue I think so we both have blue but um, they have a million of these options on Amazon for these clear bags you can even buy them in the store and some of them will come with like you know empty little things you could refill that are travel friendly I liked this one because I'd had a few like this that I really liked but the zipper kept breaking and it broke my heart because I would love them so much and this one I've recently purchased, so the zipper hasn't broken yet. But the zipper, like when I read the reviews, everyone was like, oh my gosh, the zipper is reinforced. Like it's really, really good. I've used it for years and I stuff it to the brim and it still hasn't broken. So I've stuffed, this doesn't look stuffed because all of my other liquids were in here and it was stuffed. But these are all my other toiletries I figured you might care to see. So I will, if I can find the link to this exact bag, I will put that below. Because I want to say, you know, it's, it's obviously more than like just buying a, quart size Ziploc bag or even a box of quartz but it's more sturdy and if you travel a lot or even if you don't but you just want something a little more sturdy to hold things it was totally worth the money and I'd gone through enough of the other ones on Amazon that had kept breaking that I was like I'm not dealing with this anymore I can't have a broken one to come home with and all my stuff just falling out of it as I go through the TSA line so all right I've got my toothpaste my Crest 3D white I love this stuff brought the First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Cream for my lotion, although I didn't need it because they had a lotion in the uh, hotel. We stayed at the Luxor because it was a little bit more inexpensive. It was on the other end of the strip, which was fine, and it was awesome. But um, they didn't have a shampoo and conditioner, and I wish I would have brought a shampoo and conditioner because usually, you know, hotels have it. Well, they had a conditioning shampoo 
my hair was garbage after washing it with that, like absolute garbage. So, oh my gosh, my friend Laura and I were like dying because our hair was like parched. Anyway, that is totally besides the point. So I didn't bring a shampoo and conditioner, wished I had. I finally found travel size versions at Target of my favorite, favorite, face cleanser. This is the CeraVe Hydrating Cleanser. I literally saw these at Target. They were ridiculously overpriced. They were like four or five dollars for this. I'm like, are you kidding me? I, st I still bought like three because I was like, this is my favorite face wash. And when I'm traveling, my skin can flare up. You know, like when you're in a different environment and you're traveling and you're flying and your skin's just a mess. It's so nice to be able to have like your favorite cleanser ever that's still hydrating and good to your skin. It's so nice to have that. I'm always using something random because that's what I have in travel size. So, mm -hmm. I love it. Brought my favorite hairspray, the Bedhead Masterpiece Hairspray. It's what I use every day. Again, I found like a sale on these and I bought like five of them. So I've got a stockpile of these in my little travel drawer in my closet there. Oh, I have eye drops for if my eyes were all red. I have my little like Travelo perfume thing. I have currently, oh my gosh, it smells so good. The Chanel, Coco Chanel, oh my gosh, I love it. Or is it Coco Memoirs? I don't know. Um, I love this so much, but this is the easiest thing because you can just clean it out. You could buy more than one and have a couple perfumes to choose from, but it's, it's awesome. I also brought a dry shampoo I didn't end up using. It's the Redken Pillow Proof Blow Dry Two Day Extender. I've only used this once. I don't remember how I felt about it, but I had it and I was like, well, I'm gonna need one probably. So I brought it. <laughs> I brought one of my favorites, the Clinique Take the Day Off Cleansing Balm. I actually just refill this. I had used this up, but I just refill it with whatever like cleansing balm I'm using. I love the It Cosmetics one. I actually had a new Clinique one, so I refilled it with that. But I love cleansing balms, especially for travel because they don't spill everywhere. You know, I could bring like my cellar water and cotton pads, but those are bigger. This is the perfect size. And I like that I can just refill it. Um, I brought the Kiehl's Midnight Recovery Eye Cream just because I had it. I like it. Would I buy a full size? Maybe. This is the Oblifica Seaberry Hair Serum I used to help my dry, dry hair get some moisture back in before I blow dried it. And I do think this was nice, but that shampoo was horrible. And then I brought my Glossier Super Bounce Serum that I love. It's just got hyaluronic acid. It's, my skin loves it. And it was still travel size, even though it's the full size. So that was everything I brought. Definitely check below for some of the links to some of the products that I mentioned. And I hope you'll subscribe before you leave and say hi on my social media. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.